time for live coverage of the commencement exercises of Eastmont High School's Class of 2021. Tonight's broadcast is made possible by these fine sponsors. August Edge Real Estate, Biosports Physical Therapy, Caldwell Banker Cascade, Dr. David Parks, Leavenworth House Apartment Homes, Tan Republic, the Wenatchee School District, Apple Valley Honda, Chelan County PUD, Global Car Care, Laura Mounter Real Estate, Mini Blinds and More, One Way Construction, Sangster Motors, and Save Mart. Now let's go live to Wildcat Stadium on the campus of Eastmont High School for the graduation of the Eastmont Class of 2021 on the NCW Life Channel, your local TV station.
Good evening. Good evening. My, name My name is Lance, Lance Noel, and I'm, and I'm the principal of Eastmont High School. School. It's, it's my, my honor and pleasure to welcome you to the Eastmont School District's 63rd commencement ceremony, and to my knowledge, the first ever in Wildcat Stadium, as we gather here to honor the Eastmont High School class of 2021. Will you all please stand, remove your hats, and honor America with the singing of our national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, under the direction of Tara Abbott, our EHS choirs will sing the Star Spangled Banner. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming Whose bright stripes and bright stars through the heavenless sight O'er the rowers we watched were so gallantly Seniors, you may be seated. So it's clear the air of a couple things is this is our first outdoor ceremony. Number one, if you don't have a clear path to take a picture of your graduate, I'm not gonna stand in way of a mother and tell her she's not gonna get a picture. So if you need to move and take a picture, please do. Just try not to sit in some stranger's lap. We're still trying to acknowledge social distancing. But if you need to move to take a picture, you're more than welcome to. The other thing is, uh, I've been asked this about 17 times, so I'll just throw it in now. Uh, why isn't the screen up higher? Well, the reason why the screen isn't up higher is we're expecting some large gusts of wind, and we want our seniors to live um, over a better view. So that said, that's as high as we can go when we're expecting some large gusts around 7 p.m. tonight. So that said, we'll just clear the air of those things. As a courtesy to everyone, I'd like to remind you to please turn off your cell phones. We also ask that you remain seated throughout the entire so ceremony as much as you can. Uh, we value each and every one of these soon to be graduates and your attention and applause for each graduate is sincerely appreciated. And I wanna emphasize the word applause. We're outside so you know the applause kinda gets eaten up and it's different, I mean each senior only has four, four people here. So, so your applause, applause can be drowned, drowned out. out. So what so I would, would like, like to see is our community Wildcats, Wildcats cheer for every one of these graduates, graduates soon to be graduates, graduates, as loud as you possibly can. This is a celebration more than anything, and we're here to celebrate and honor them because they deserve it. Okay, that was about a C, but you'll get better as the day goes on. You'll have plenty of time to clap. The goal by the end of the night is your hands will be sore. At the conclusion of tonight's ceremony, the graduates will toss their caps. I'm a little nervous. They do this knowing that a 35 mile an hour gust could hit at any time, and classmates and families sitting behind them may have to duck and cover as we have sharp projectiles flying through the air. Guys, those hats, when they catch wind, they go. So if you care about your cap and you want it back, be careful. For you people back behind in the white chairs, I'm sorry, duck. Once, once, once they, they throw, throw their caps, caps that signals that the ceremony is over. The seniors will get their diplomas, which are available. They're not in the jackets that you pick up. We don't trust you, you'll lose them. Remember I said, well, you get it and hand it to your mom. At the end of the night, you'll go through that gate right there in the soccer fields where your diploma will be waiting for you. Finally, don't forget there will be fireworks launched tonight to honor both graduates in Wenatchee and East Wenatchee at approximately 10 o'clock, basically when it's dark. At this time, it is, it is my, my pleasure, pleasure to introduce, to introduce 
your ASB president, ASB president for the class, class of, of two two th 2021, the mighty McKenna Schwab. Thanks for letting me borrow your spill, Noel. <laughs> All right, I would I'd like, like to, welcome to welcome the dignitaries who are sitting at the, at the side, side of our, of our stage, stage tonight. tonight. Please, Please wait, wait to, to applaud, applaud until they're all standing. standing. First, we have our high school assistant principals, Ms. Stacia Hardy, Mr. Tom McCray, Mr. John Abbott, and Mr. Jim Schmutzler. We also have our principal, Mr. Lance Noel, our Eastmont Virtual Academy principal, Mrs. Katie Tucker, our superintendent, Dr. Garn Christensen, our assistant superintendent of secondary schools, Matt Charlton, our assistant superintendent of elementary schools, Mr. Spencer Taylor, our president of the board of directors, Annette Eggers, and our board members, Whitney Smith, Smith, Megan, Megan Bibbert, Bibbert, and Dave, Dave People. People. Let's, Let's give them a round of applause. We have a lot of people to thank for putting on our graduation ceremony. Please again, hold your applause until we get through all of them and we'll give one big round of applause at the end. Our musical entertainment tonight is provided by our Eastmont High School Band under the direction of Maggie Whiteman. And we also have our Eastmont High School Choir under the direction of Tara Abbott. Seated at the ends of the rows of graduates are our amazing staff who, like our seniors, have worked very hard to get to this moment. Thanks to our school newspaper, The Scratching Post, their staff and their director, Mr. Andy Garness, for this amazing graduation edition of The Scratching Post. Let's give them a round of applause. I also want to do a special thank you to the Army of Eastmont High School staff and our community who have made this graduation ceremony what it is. Again, please wait till the end for your applause. Ken Cinco, Carl Polson, James Wallace, and Nick Locke from the PAC, Eastmont Parks and Rec, Eastmont High School custodian, Nick Turner, Mindy Freeze, Nancy's Party Rentals, Pyro Spectacular, NW Video, Eric Grandstrom at NCW Life, and our East Wenatchee Police Department. And now a huge thank you to Ms. Stacia Hardy, who planned not only this graduation ceremony, but many others. There was no way that Ms. Hardy was going to let COVID take our graduation or any other senior activities if she had anything to say about it. So thank you to Ms. Hardy for supporting your students to the moon and back every year. And another huge thank you to our wonderful principal, Mr. Lance Noel. And amidst his own outside challenges this year, he continued to fight hard for us to be able to be celebrated and enjoy what we had left of our senior year. And one of the greatest things I've learned from Mr. Noel, as I'm sure a lot of us have, means you don't have to be tall to be a good leader. <laughs> and as, as much as I'm sure he'll never admit it, I think he's going to miss us just as much as we're going to miss him. So thank you to Mr. Noel, Ms. Hardy, our admin team, and our staff for helping us get to this moment. And please join me in thanking our parents, our family members, and our friends who also helped us get to this moment. And now specifically to my senior class. We made it, guys. 13 years of hard work all going towards this moment. And with the year we had, I didn't know if this moment would ever come. All I know for sure is that I couldn't have asked for a better class to walk alongside. From beating Wenatchee in football every year since we were freshmen, to enjoying amazing shows put on by our drama department like Little Women and Cinderella, 
But most of all, I can't believe it's time for us to move our tassels and close our chapter on EHS. Being a part of a school like Eastmont is rare. You know a solid percentage of the students you pass in the hallway, and you can walk up to your principal and get made fun of, and it's just your average Monday. But being a wildcat is about more than that. At Eastmont, friends become family. Principals get their heads shaved for charity, and teachers dance at the door every time we have a first day back. And over the last four years, we've had the opportunity to grow and fail and get back up. We've had the chance to try new things and create personas for ourselves. We have the chance to challenge ourselves and push and learn and understand what's really important in our lives. And as we turn the page on our Eastmont chapter, here are some things that I learned that I hope you will remember too. One, kindness counts. We're all about that kindness thing here at Eastmont. And if there's one thing that I know for sure, it's that I don't know everything, especially what's going on in someone else's life. So, like my mom has told me since I was a little girl, you'll never regret being the nice one. Two, fun is a part of life. In every aspect of school, there was always something that was going on that I could look forward to, whether it was a spirit week or Mr. Noel coming up in the hallway and tagging me as mean McKenna. I was reminded that while my education is incredibly important, I could still enjoy myself while I was learning. Three, no matter what, I can always stand back up again. My time at Eastmont was not free of failure, as I'm sure yours wasn't either. But my screw-ups and my mistakes were never what defined me. They were always used as a way for me to get back up and try again. Like Mr. Gallagher always reminds us, it's better to be reminded of something than to be taught something new. And I know that no matter what happens as we all go forth from this moment, our failures will never define us. They will simply be a stepping stone for whatever happens next. And now I'd like to speak specifically to our wonderful staff. I can't say this enough, but thank you. Thank you for always and consistently having each and every one of your students' backs. Thank you for pushing us to be better learners. Thank you for leading by your own example. Thank you for continuing to work hard, even in the face of COVID, hybrid learning, 100-minute classes, and so many changes this year. We couldn't have made it through our years, especially this one, without you, your support, your encouragement, and your guidance. I don't think that our staff could ever be matched or replicated and you have no idea what an honor it has been to get to learn from all of you, so thank you. And so, my fellow graduates, we did it! In the face of a global pandemic, online learning, masks, social distancing, and our own personal battles, we did it. And then we made it to a moment that we will look back on for years and refer to as the good old days. So thank you for working hard and going on this journey and being Eastmont High School's class of 2021. And so, in the words of High School Musical, once a wildcat, always a wildcat. Congratulations, seniors. We did it. And now I'd like to introduce a good friend and our senior class president, Ms. Libby Gallagher. Jump, jump left, 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 left for, for the Wildcats. Wildcats. Now, now jump, jump right, 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 right for the Wildcats. Wildcats. Might, Might have been the most stressful part of high school. school. Who's, Who's going, going to fall? fall? When, when are we going, going to fall? fall? Are my, my white, white shoes going to survive this chair? This chair? There's, There's so much, well, this chair is kind of like high school. school. There's, There's so much uncertainty through it all, but all you can do is do your best, hold on to people for support, and enjoy it all. As, As we navigated, navigated our way, way through, through all the lefts and, and rights of high school, high school the, the support, support from all, all the different relationships in our lives were always there to help guide us along the way. The, the classroom, classroom friendships that grew over the semester, these, these friendships, friendships of asking for help on assignments that over time turned into talking all period about the, all the fun weekend plans. Our friendships with our closest friends who we could count on to bring a smile to our face and cheer us up when we needed it the most. Our, our best, best friends, friends from, from kindergarten, kindergarten who have been, been there through it all. 
the countless memories of laughing till our stomachs hurt and crying till there were no more tears to cry. Our parents who have shown us endless love and support, our biggest cheerleaders who not only support us in success, but support us in our failures as well. The ones who modeled that success not only relates to a career, but it also relates to the relationships in life. All of us have these important relationships in our lives who have helped, get to us, helped us get to this point. Along the way, you could say there were some pretty big bumps in the road, yet here we are ready to go into the world. Now we are ready to enter the world because of the important relationships we created with others, but also the relationships we formed with ourselves. Our class faced a lot of adversity and a whole lot of uncertainty, but through this time, we still came together in unity. Reflecting back on everything we've been taught, the greatest thing we learned was not from the book, but it was from each other. We taught one another the importance of respect, honesty, humility, patience, selflessness, forgiveness, commitment, and kindness. All of these essentials we can take into the world to build a brighter future for ourselves and generations to come while we navigate the lefts and rights of our paths. As we begin down this new path, remember failures will happen, but so will success. This next chapter is all about growth. Grow your knowledge, but also grow your character. In order to grow, you have to fail, but when you do, learn something new and enjoy every moment. So, every moment we are given, take every opportunity to inspire someone around you, take every opportunity to thank someone important to you, and take every opportunity to leave someone better than you found them. When things don't go right, don't be afraid to jump left. So, for the last time as an EHS student, please stand. And now jump left. Now jump right, right, right. Thank you. Not gonna lie, I got a little lightheaded on that one. I used to adjusting it up. <laughs> Feels good. And now it's my pleasure to acknowledge some seniors who have completed some amazing feats despite the craziness of a pandemic. Will all National Society members in the class of 2021 please stand and be recognized? Thank you, you may be seated. If you have already earned college credit through AP testing, Sorry, strangling me. Test, uh, tech prep classes, online education, or running start. Will you please stand and be recognized also? Thank you. If you will be completing an Associates of Arts degree through running start at Wenatchee Valley College, will you please stand and be recognized? Thank you. Thank you. Not going to lie, it took me three years to get my two-year associates post high school. Don't judge. If you are an apple blossom queen, would you please stand and be recognized? Ladies and gentlemen, Her Highness Miss Brooke Perez. Thank you. At this time, we'd like to acknowledge all of our graduates who have planned uh, service in the military as their first step away from high school. Would you please stand and be recognized for your willingness to protect and serve our country? Thank you. And thank you for your service. In recognition of this, our 63rd commencement ceremony, We'd like everyone, that's all of you people around the perimeter, and you 100 yards out there, who have previously participated in this ceremony to be recognized. So all of you, if you are an EHS alumni, would you please stand and be recognized? Thank, Thank you. you. 
At this time, it's my pleasure to welcome Stacia Hardy to the stage for the presentation of our Senior Boy and Girl of the Year. Good evening. I have the honor of introducing the 2021 Boy and Girl of the Year. May I please have Max Prazier come to the stage? It's okay, take your time. Right up here. Max can be described in one word, humility. He's a natural-born leader and truly leads by example. He works consistently to make the world a better place through his interactions with others and his accomplishments and achievements throughout his high school years. His po positive attitude, his hardworking and honest character make any team, class, or group he is associated with better. He's not afraid to try and that, that motivates, motivates everyone, everyone around, around him. him. Max, Max has, has a cumulative GPA of 3.98. 3 That's, That's awesome. awesome. Good job. <laughs> he carries a full load of upper level classes as his goal is to head to a four year university. Max is a three year letter winner in football. He's all conference and a two year captain. He is, he is headed, headed to, to Eastern, Eastern Oregon, Oregon University, University this fall to play football. football. Congratulations. <laughs> Max finished fifth place at the state wrestling tournament last year. He was a wrestling captain and a three-year letter winner in wrestling. Max was also the top three district placer in track and a two-year track letter winner. His coaches say the following. He's a, He's a dominant, dominant player in football, football that helped lead the team to four wins over Wenatchee, two, two league titles, and a 22-5 and five record over his varsity, varsity career. He is, he is a driven student, student, a phenomenal servant leader, and he has achieved success as both a student and an athlete. athlete. But these, these things, things don't define Max. Max. There's, There's others. others. He's, He's kind. kind. He's caring. He's, He's humble. humble. He's always been very hardworking. This fall during hybrid learning, when we did not have students on campus, he had weights and no weight room was available, but Max made the best of it. He didn't have a squat rack, so what did he do? He brought in a forklift. I've got pictures to prove it. That makes the best squat rack. We are blessed with Max's morning greeting as he enters the building every day. He consistently demonstrates incredible kindness, is respectful and humble, and is admired by staff and peers alike. He is committed to what makes Eastmont great and lives the wildcat way each and every day. This young man is truly a class act and the model of what it means to be an Eastmont wildcat. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Eastmont High School Boy of the Year, Max Prazier. McKenna Schwab, will you please come to the stage? students are recognized for their honorable work within the community, but one woman shines brighter, and that's McKenna Schwab. She lives and breathes the Wildcat way. Mrs. McCray said this, a positive attitude and genuine friendliness. Her sunny disposition, humble spirit, and beautiful smile brightens up the building. She has embraced her high school experience with pure joy. In 2019, McKenna was named the national champion for Children's Miracle Network. 
This meant she would be representing 170 children's hospitals across the nation. This experience took McKenna all over the country for different speaking engagements and events. In the end, she found a place to share her story and her smiling face on a Cheerios box. At Eastmont High School, McKenna's involvement is no less impressive. McKenna has proven herself in the traditional academic classrooms where she maintains outstanding marks in AP and upper level courses. In her elective schedule, she has become an active member of Senate and leadership, where this past year she has served as your ASB president. McKenna is a compassionate young lady, always thinking of others first, willing to go above and beyond for them. She is genuinely concerned for her peers. She is committed to serving others. She is an organizer, a planner, and a go-getter. Everything I've seen her do, be a part of, she has done with integrity. She has already made so many positive contributions to our school community and society that I can't wait to see what else, what else she has, has to do. When you, when you talk, talk about, about kind students, students McKenna's name has to be in that conversation. conversation. From her sweet, sweet and sincere hellos each day to her dedication to family, school, and community, McKenna, McKenna excels, excels in being an awesome, awesome person. person. She, she is, is one, one of those students we'll remember, remember for years to come. come. McKenna's, McKenna's fierce heart and determination has empowered change well outside of our school and community. She views each opportunity as a challenge rising to the occasion, ready to not only take on the challenge, but conquer it. McKenna simply lives the wildcat way and will not only make this valley better, but the entire world. I'd like to present to you the Eastmont High School Girl of the Year, McKenna Schwab. Thank, Thank you. you. Did you know McKenna, McKenna was on a cereal, cereal box? box? Did any of you see, you see that? that? It's pretty frustrating as a principal to have a student that's way more famous than you. you. That's why I named her me McKenna. Not gonna lie, it was pure jealousy. jealousy. She's not, not me. me. <sighs> Frustrating. Okay. okay. It is it my is pleasure now to welcome Ms. Patty Betzing to the stage to present our salute, salutatorium, and will Court Danielson please come, please come to the stage, stage also. also. Eastmont High School graduating class of 2021 salutatorian, Court Danielson. I would also like to take a moment to recognize Court's parents, Kurt and Sheila Danielson. Would you please stand? I applaud, I applaud the job, the job you have done, done raising such a wonderful, wonderful young, young man. man. I'm, I'm glad, glad I was part of his educational journey. journey. It, takes it takes more than good parenting, though, to create an academic record as impressive as courts. It takes curiosity and the intellect to act on it, making mistakes and learning from them, the willingness to seek help when you are struggling, and it takes dedication and perseverance to put in the hours necessary to learn and truly understand the concepts being taught. And of, and of course, course the, the hours, hours to do all the assigned work. work. Court's well, academic record includes many honors and AP courses, courses and a cumulative GPA is 3.996. That, that is straight A's, A's with the exception, exception of one, one. A minus. Along, Along with his academics, Court, Court is a gifted trumpet player, player in both jazz, jazz and concert band. band. I would, I would like, like to, to add, add that, that he shared, shared his gift when he played tap so beautifully for the online Veterans Day assembly this past year. Court has been a member of the high school cross country team for many years and also participates in other outdoor sports and activities such as mountain bike racing, skiing and snowboarding, and rock hounding. 
Next, Next year, Court will be attending New Mexico, Mexico Tech and majoring in mineral engineering. engineering. Congratulations, Court. And now, and now to present, present our record, record number, number of valedictorians, valedictorians I, invite I invite Mr. John, John Schmouter to the stage. stage. It's a long walk for a big guy. It's a great honor tonight to introduce to you the valedictorians of 2021. A valedictorian is a student who has committed countless hours, blood, sweat, and tears to their studies. And trust me, as your AP history teacher, I was the source of many of those tears. Sorry about those minors, kids. To get all the assignments in, well, most of them, and to master every exam, is a feat of hard work and dedication in a normal year. Toss in a pandemic, an economic downturn, and you have a truly extraordinary feat. And of course, the class of 2021 couldn't just stop there. They also had to break the record with 15 valedictorians. Let's give them a round of applause for that. It takes, it takes a village, a village to, raise to raise a child, child. And, while and while we celebrate, celebrate their, their hard work tonight, tonight we would be remiss if we did not acknowledge their parents and guardians. guardians. Plenty, Plenty of worry and tears were spilled on their part as well. As, as I, call I call each valedictorian, valedictorian we ask for their parents to rise as we acknowledge, we acknowledge them as well with applause. So, so in, in alphabetical order. order. Jaya, Jaya Anatapmula, daughter of Brian and Melinda Anatapmula. Madeline Eaton, daughter of Scott and Amy Eaton. <laughs> Olivia Ellington, daughter of Hannah Ellington and Ryan Ellington. Cadence Harden, daughter of Jessica and Dave Hansen and Ty and Jackie Harden. Riley Hirsch, daughter of David and Stephanie Hirsch. Carlin Kelly, daughter of Keith and Deborah Kelly. Jackson, Jackson Murata, Murata, son, son of Ronald, Ronald and Beth, Beth Murata. Murata. <laughs> Alyssa, Alyssa Merrill, daughter, daughter of Thomas, Thomas and Elizabeth, Elizabeth Merrill. Merrill. <laughs> Joseph, Joseph Murphy, Murphy, son, son of, of Jack, Jack and Michelle Murphy. Murphy. Hannah Patterson, Patterson, daughter, daughter of Libby, Libby, Libby Hickman, Hickman and, and Carl Patterson. Patterson. <laughs> Olivia, Olivia Pena, Pena Navarrete, Navarrete daughter, daughter of Francisco, Francisco Pena Barragan, and, and Sylvia Navarrete, Navarrete Farias. <laughs> Austin Popoff. Son, Son of Donald, Donald and Lisa, Lisa Popoff, Popoff Grandma Sandy, Sandy Lundvall, and, and Jackie Ness. Ness. Gage Santa Cruz, Son of Darby Cutler, Blake Hansen, and Freddie Santa Cruz. Connor Shedden. 
son of Don and Laura Shannon. And Tyler Seidenstricker, son of Eric and Lisa Seidenstricker. And I just hope the stage holds us all. And, and I, would I would like, like to, to present to you, these, these are, are your 2021 EHS valedictorians. valedictorians. Give them a round of applause. One of the most significant lessons I have learned throughout my high school career is that approaching adversity with an attitude of gratitude can influence our well-being and success. A notable quote reads, when life throws stones at you, collect them and build an empire. This past year, we have experienced a rock slide of stones thrown at us. And as we move forward, life will consistently present itself with new challenges which is why it is so important for us to learn how to best respond to them. After struggling with stress and anxiety, I have found that practicing gratitude is one of the few methods that has allowed me to combat these otherwise debilitating issues. And it can help you too. You see, we do not get to decide which stones life throws at us or when, only what we will choose to do with them. After speaking with students and staff alike, I have noticed that current circumstances have made many of us bitter, and gratitude empowers us to look beyond the bitterness and pain in that stone and see its potential and purpose as a part of the empire we are each striving to build. Although it will take great effort to appreciate your challenges, don't miss out on the learning opportunities they provide. As you allow that stone to build you up from the bottom, from the bottom up into the vision you see of your future self, you will not only experience greater success in your life, but you will also experience greater joy. Even though I myself was a moody stress ball for most of high school, I am still so grateful for every one of my challenges because they have ultimately made me into the person I am today. To my teachers, family, and friends, I am so grateful to you for supporting me on this journey of mine. And to all of you, I encourage you to make practicing gratitude a part of your daily life, to think about it, write about it, and share it. With those, those things in mind, take the adversity life throws at you and build yourself an empire. important things I've learned since starting at Eastmont is to always carry and treat myself with grace. I moved to East Wenatchee right before my sophomore year from a town of only 800 people. Moving took me completely out of my comfort zone, but at the same time I was so excited because of all the new opportunities I could have here at Eastmont. So with that in mind, I joined eight different clubs six of which were completely brand new to me. And of course, with any new activity comes new challenges and learning curves. A lot of those challenges are what have taught me the importance of grace. You have to have grace when you're balancing so many things along with trying to keep your grades up. I'd have to say my biggest teacher of grace would be tennis. Playing tennis has taught me how to stay positive and be kind to myself when faced with tough situations like many of the matches I played. Playing on the varsity team this year has really pushed me to keep my grace when I'm facing frustration, to never accept defeat, and always keep my spirits up. Coming into Eastmont, I wasn't sure I'd be able to thrive in such a large school, but now that I'm leaving, I can proudly hold my head high, knowing that I gave myself grace and tried my very best. And, and that's, that's why, why I'm here today. today. Thank, Thank you. you.
If, if I had to describe Eastmont School, school district, district in one word, it would, it would be compassionate. compassionate. When I was, I was younger, younger, I was incredibly, incredibly sensitive and put an unnecessary amount of academic, academic pressure on myself. On myself. I remember, I remember the, the day, day I, cried I cried in second grade because, because my, my name, name wasn't called to go to recess for fun Friday. Friday. I didn't, I didn't care, care about, about not being, being with my friends, friends but, but rather felt, felt like my teacher would be disappointed in me for forgetting to bring my homework to school. My teacher reassured me everything was okay and that she wasn't upset. Fast forward a few years and the teachers at Eastmont High School are just as considerate. During my junior year, Mr. Founder repeatedly told our AP US history class I legitimately don't care if you fail the AP exam. Obviously, he was still rooting for our success, but Mr. Schmouter and other teachers care more about their students' well-being than a number on a standardized test or a cumulative GPA. Students are worth much more than their academics, and Eastmont has always represented that. I will forever be appreciative of the kindness Eastmont staff members have shown me and my peers and for inspiring me to embody the compassion Eastmont School District radiates every day. Thank you. Love you, Mom. Do you remember when we were in kindergarten and we tried so hard to spell the word dog? Or how about being 11 years old and trying to solve the problem 2x minus 4 equals 3x plus 6? Now, here we stand, knowing much more than the spelling of dog or the fact that x equals negative 10. We are accomplished scholars, and none of us would have made it here without grit. Grit is defined as a trait based on an individual's perseverance and effort, combined with a passion for a long-term goal. Grit is in the moments where we face it. It is in that math class where we have to do what we can talk about. It is in the district championship where you fight to be champions or lose to be at home. It is in the effort we put in the clubs, sports, and hobbies we love. It is in the perseverance we put in the completing this homework assignment. We would rather be doing literally anything else. It is in all of the steps we have taken that is not in the future we are today. Today, we can enter the world knowing that our perseverance and effort has led to the accomplishment of graduation. Today, we celebrate grit and the grit found in all of us. Thank you. In 2021, we have faced many obstacles, including a pandemic, our academic terms changing to trimesters, busy schedules with sports, work, and homework, and maybe some personal challenges as well. Through it all, we continue to persevere by showing up and making the best of each situation. Similarly, in the next part of our lives, we will encounter obstacles such as the ones we have faced here. Obstacles that may make us uncomfortable, stressed, and or nervous for the unforeseeable outcome. It is up to us to determine whether we shall take a quicker, less painful route through those obstacles or rather face those challenges head on. In the end, what may matter most is not what you accomplished or created, but rather the experience, skill, and know-how that come from the daily grind of striving and the satisfaction that comes from attaining your goals. There's a quote that Mr. Millard has posted on his wall that has inspired me throughout this year that states, you can battle your hardest, but still not amount to the greatest, as long as you finish fighting. As we move on to the next chapter of our lives, I hope that all of you in the class of 2021 will continue to persevere and work towards reaching your goals, no matter what hardships come your way. Thank you. There are many traits that flourish here at Eastmont High School, but the one that comes to mind for me today is pride. Pride can mean many things, not all of them as positive as others, but the pride I am speaking of today is the pride of an athlete after a successful competition, the 
the satisfaction of a student after performing on a well on a test that they worked for, and a member of the red zone cheering their heart out from the audience. When I think of pride this year, I think of the attendance we saw at sports events. When what should have been fall sports finally began in February, spectators were not allowed at any meets or games. However, as soon as these restrictions were loosened, every single ticket was quickly swept up by family members and other students who wanted to see the athletes compete in the sports that they love. When they couldn't get tickets officially, many would volunteer to help in any way that they could. These volunteers and audience members displayed pride in Eastmont's athletes and sports programs. And in turn, the athletes could feel even more pride in themselves. This sense of pride is also here right now. Anywhere you look in this stadium, you will see scores of parents, grandparents, siblings, Eastmont staff, all with a look of pride as they watch those they love graduate. They have plenty of reasons to be proud. Between remote learning, socially distant sports, and transitioning back to in-person school, the Eastmont class of 2021 has been put through one of the most uncertain school years anyone here can probably remember. And here we are on the other side, mostly unscathed. This is certainly a time that we and the rest of the Eastmont community can feel a little pride. There are many traits that Eastmont could be known for. Our school spirit, our crowded parking lot, or even our spunky principal. These all undoubtedly make Eastmont unique, but I think that the most noteworthy trait about Eastmont is our dedication and resilience. It's safe to say that the past year has flipped our worlds upside down. One thing that I admire about Eastmont throughout all these changes was the dedication that all had to making the best out of the unusual and unprecedented circumstances we faced. I remember in particular a practice during my cross country season of this year. Instead of being in the fall, like normal, we started our season in February. At this practice, I looked up and saw my teammates running with masks on in the cold weather and pouring rain, and my coaches there supporting us. This really touched me and made me appreciate the dedication and resilience of Eastmont. I want to thank all of you, staff, parents, peers, classmates, friends, and my family for supporting me throughout my journey. I want to give a special thanks to the staff of Eastmont as they had to adjust and readjust their teaching styles and formats over the last year. I am grateful for each of your wonderful examples. I know that as we all continue to move forward in our lives, that we can keep showing that dedication and resilience that I admire so much about Eastmont. Thank you. I've been thinking about a lot about my time at Eastmont and all I've learned, but the most important trait that comes to my mind is tenacity. When I think of tenacity, I think of putting in work and sacrificing to achieve a goal, especially when things aren't going our way. I think most of this growth happened during the last two years when we were all stuck inside in virtual classes, which honestly I don't think any of us could predict that happening, but uh, although our last two years weren't what they thought, or weren't, weren't, weren't what we thought they were going to be, sorry, uh, we still made the best of them and learned some important things along the way, and that's tenacity to me. Often in life, things don't go the way we expect or the way we planned. The true sign of success is when we can push through those hard times, make the best of them, and continue to pursue our goals. As the great Winston Churchill once said, if you're going through hell, keep going. I wish all my classmates the best in your next endeavors, and when tough times come, just keep fighting and keep pushing. Thank you. It is a privilege to stand up here and be recognized as valedictorian. If we're being completely honest, I still don't even know how to spell valedictorian or truly know how to pronounce it correctly. Anyway, over the past four years of being a high school student, I was taught reliance. At certain times throughout high school, I was very passionate about succeeding and tried to do so by relying on myself alone, which led to stress, as some of my teachers and fellow students may know. 
Through this process, I learned how to rely on my family, friends, mentors, and God. Being able to confide in people who are always willing to help, support, and cheer me on is something for which I will forever be grateful. So this year especially has opened my eyes to the one person who will always be there for me, Jesus. Relying on God has given me an identity that is not defined in my report card or achievements and has truly been liberating. Knowing that I will always have someone to rely on is the best lesson I learned throughout high school. I hope that as we all continue forward in life, we remember that we are not alone and we always have someone to rely on. I also hope that one day I'll finally be able to spell valedictorian. Thank you. Flexible with our daily schedules is something we've all had to deal with this school year. Life is unpredictable and plans you have crumble. You might find yourself in a situation when you go out and help your sister clean her car and she ends up sucking your, mat, your face mask with the vacuum too. You of course have to go to school with a cheetah print face mask or a pink face mask with a cheesy phrase on it. You let your sister choose and they choose the pink one. The next day, you drop it on the way to school without realizing it. You get to school and you are relieved that Eastmont provides masks for people who don't have any. Instead of getting frustrated, you brush it off and laugh because that's how life is, unforeseeable. I'm not saying that this happened to me, but I do own a pink face mask with a GB phrase on it. So next time an inconvenience changes your schedule, take a deep breath and try to make the best of it. Thank you. Thank you. As we went through high school, we all created new experiences. Freshman year, I felt the new pressure of grades counting for my final transfer. Sophomore year, I felt the new environment of the high school. Junior year, I experienced the new environment at Wenatchee Valley College. In senior year, I adapted to the new way of learning online. As we graduate today, almost all of these new experiences have already become old experiences. However, we will all face new challenges, and our old challenges will serve as reference to overcome adversity. We will all create new relationships and new experiences as we let our old ones guide us. As we continue our lives after high school, we will all reach new heights, just as our principal, Lance Noel, will hopefully reach a new height someday. I want to give a thank you to Eastmont High School and a special thank you to Lance Noel for making Eastmont such a special place. I would also like to thank my parents and all my friends for all their support throughout this process. Thank you. I stand before you today as myself, a person no more than that. I may hold the title of valedictorian, but to me, the title is nothing more than a word. The path here may have been one of determination, grit, and work, but to me, the most important, most important component of life over the years has been humanity. Accepting this may seem hard at times. We get so caught up in others' lives that we often become jealous. We all present ourselves to the masses with what we want to be, the best version of ourselves. And despite knowing this, we look to others and think, wow, I want a life like that. But know this, every person has a backstory. Every person has flaws. Every person is just a person. So go out there, make connections, take the world by storm. We're all just people. We all have the same value, and that value is larger than you could possibly ever imagine. I greatly thank my friends, family, and teachers for this journey. However, I also thank all of those who I never met for founding and maintaining an exceptional culture here at Eastmont. No one deserves to be forgotten. Everyone has an impact. And all of you deserve nothing less than the absolute best. Thank you. Kindness. It's, it's a, a word, word I'm sure you've all heard a lot at Eastmont. And I'd say, my time here has definitely helped me become a kinder person. 
To that end, I'd like to change pace a little and just say, I'm proud of all of you. If you'll be walking across this stage tonight, I am proud of you. Whether you woke up each morning ready to seize the day, or whether you struggled to get out of bed some mornings, I'm proud of you. Being able to say you walked across the stage at graduation is certainly no small feat. I may not know all of the individual challenges each of you had to face to get here, but nonetheless, I am proud of each and every one of you. I'll leave you now with a quote, both in the original Japanese and with my mildly embellished translation. Surutsuyuku kyo no wakare, iza saraba sensei to saraba tomoyo, utsukushi asu no hinotame. Today is the day that we all leave the nest. And so I say farewell to all of my teachers and to all of my friends. Let us make each tomorrow brighter than the one before. Peace out, Isman. One moment. Uh, I'm, gonna I'm gonna talk, gonna talk about, about forgiveness. forgiveness. First things first, I'm gonna forgive the wind. Uh, uh, first of all, I would like to thank my teachers, the staff, my family, and my friends. Uh, without all of your help, I would never have been able to make it this far. Um, in all my years of schooling, my greatest lesson was to be forgiving. Whether you are disappointed in yourself following a colossal mistake, or angry at your friends for betraying your trust, you need, you need to learn, to, learn to, forgive. to forgive. This, this doesn't, doesn't necessarily, necessarily mean there will be no consequences for the offending events, events but, but you should always strive to be fair and non-emotional when, when you deal with upsetting occasions. occasions. Now, now, this, this isn't, isn't always simple, simple but, I but I don't think there's any other healthy way, way to deal with hurt than to endeavor to, to forgive. forgive. <clears throat> that, that lesson helped, helped me quite a lot, especially in close-knit communities like Drama Club. Now, now that, that high school, school is over for me, me I, wouldn't I wouldn't have lived it any other way. way. So, so if you can't think of a way to resolve a dispute, dispute try forgiving first. first. Thank, Thank you for your time. Tell the judge, you can judge the quality of a principal by the number of valedictorians. <laughs> Enough said. Now it's time for our choir. It's my pleasure to introduce the EHS choirs and the, under the director, direction of Tara Abbott. They'll be singing two numbers this evening. The first, a commencement tradition, is the singing of our alma mater under the direction of senior choir president Caleb Clifton. The second number is May the Road Rise to Meet You.
Awesome, awesome job. job. Thank, Thank you. you. Javier, Javier, where are you? Javier. Need you to come, come up. up. Please welcome, welcome Javier Zaldivar Osegueda to the stage. I'm not going to lie, he has, he has no, no idea, idea what I'm doing, doing right now. now. That's, That's true. true. Actually, Actually, Javier, right now, I, I don't need you yet, so right now, come, come take, take my seat, seat on the side, I'll let you know what I need you. you. Look at you, the, the next principal of East Lawn High School. I told you that smile would take you far. Poor guy. All right, remember a couple marches ago when we gave you guys a two-week vacation? We said, we said, hey, this, this thing, thing called, called COVID, COVID was here. We're, we're going to give, give you a little, little time, time off to flatten the curve. curve. Remember that? Well, well then, then we, we just kept, kept telling you to stay home. home. No, no spring sports, sports, no activities, no state competitions, competitions no, no drama, no performances, no, no clubs, clubs. Just stay home. Well, this, this is awkward. awkward. Stacia, Stacia, will you help me, please? I have an equipment malfunction at the moment. I can't get it on. Yes, I need your help. Well, after like seven short jokes, let's just keep it coming, huh? Do you remember thinking, man, it stinks to be in the class of 2020. Our senior year will be normal. We, we went, went to summer and kept, kept waiting for things, things to return, return to normal. normal. They didn't. The school, the school year started, started with a mad rush of coming to the school to get a Chromebook and whatever disinfected classroom materials and supplies we could shove through the window of their car. car. Yeah, yeah, the class of 2021 had the strangest start of school ever. ever. Everything seemed crazy. I honestly remember thinking, who's running this place anyways? It's awkward. <laughs> All right, Javier, come on up, I need you. All right, so I've got props and I have wins, so they don't work together. So I need muscles and this beautiful smile. All right, you can take the mask off, show them real quick. That's the smile I'm talking about, look at that. Unbelievable. All right, put that mask back on, make me look better. All right. He just he told, told me there's, there's three. three. I know I there's know three. three. I handed you three things. things. Seniors, parents, parents, I don't know how you do it. So I'll tell you which one, okay? okay. So what so we're gonna, gonna do is we're gonna, gonna role play a little part of your year, all right? When, when I, put I put the glasses, glasses on, on, I'm a senior English teacher, Mr. Noel. Always wanted to teach poetry. Just kidding, it's completely worthless. I'm kidding. I'm, kidding. I'm a business, business major, major, right? So, so I, if, if you got, if you got something, something to say, say just say it. it. I don't I have to figure it out. out. Sorry, English teacher. All right, All right for, for now, now I love poetry. poetry. I'm, I'm an English, English teacher with the glasses on. on. When I take them off, I'm back to good old me. me. All right, English teacher? Me. Got it? All right, seniors, you look normal. Okay. Then EHS launched full remote learning and classes, classes on Google Meets began. began. Let's, Let's take, take a moment, moment to reenact some of these virtual moments, starting with the most common words used in the 2020-2021 school year. Wait for it. Okay, hold up a little That's a mute button on a Google Meet. Uh, Mr. Noel, you're muted. <laughs> Those, Those are the words. words. The, the top, top two, two words heard through, through your entire, entire school year, you're, you're muted. muted. Every, Every day, day in a Google, Google Meet, it happened. happened. Students, Students teachers, teachers, principals, principals it, it didn't matter. matter. You're, you're muted. muted. If, if you, you learned, learned nothing this year, year you, you learned, learned you're muted. muted. Nice, nice job. job. You're all about it, Torrance. Here's another classic one for you. Sorry, Sorry, the glasses. The glasses. I, I, I don't normally wear glasses, glasses. I'm not going to lie. Yes, the top two words this year were you're muted. And, and seniors, seniors, I heard horror stories, stories about you from teachers, where teachers would talk literally for 20 minutes, minutes and no, no student, student would say, say anything. anything. 
and this, and this truly, truly happened, happened. And, you and you should be ashamed, ashamed of yourself because I know you're texting, texting and you're snapping in the background, background and you're wondering how long are they going to yammer away. away. It's, it's a shameful, shameful thing. thing. The right, right thing, thing to do, you heard the talks, talks kindness, kindness, it counts. counts. There, were there were many, many opportunities, opportunities for a uh, senior, senior to be a little sassy towards a teacher. Here's another one. Do you realize how bad we look right now? All right, really good? Okay, no He says we look great. There were many opportunities for a SAS senior, and here's another one. Hello, everyone. My name is Mr. Noel, and I'm happy to welcome you to Senior English. I'm having some internet problems, so my camera isn't working at the moment. Uh, hey, so what's the L stand for? A great, a great question. question. The, the L, stands L stands for my first, first name, name, which is Lance. Lance. Oh, so, so can we call, can we call you Lance? Lance? No, no, you, you need, need to call, call me Mr. Mr. Noel. Well, then, well, then why isn't, isn't the little symbol like an M or an MR? Because, because the symbols for the, your, the, the first, first, my first, first name's Lance, Lance, so that's, that's what the symbols, symbols, it's an L. But I heard Miss Hardy told me that your first name was Fred. Okay, well, I go by, I go by my middle name, well, well, technically, technically it, is, it is, but I go, I go by, by my middle name, name, which is Lance. So, so does, does it really matter? Can we move well, on? Why do you, why do, you do that? that? For the, the love, love of, because. because. And, and there's, there's always, always this, this little, little classic. classic. So, so when you're, you're writing, writing, I want, I want your, your sentences, sentences to flow. To flow. You, you should, should always mark. Mark, mute your Chromebook. What are you doing? I, sorry, sorry, man. It, it was an emergency. Unbelievable. I heard comments from teachers this year I would have absolutely never imagined. Hey, Ivan, would you mind putting a shirt on while we're in our Google Meet? Or hey, Sarah, could you change your background? Or at least move your School Sucks poster out from right behind you when you're talking to the class? Does your parent know your boyfriend's... With, with you, you right, right now? now? Awkward. Awkward. Or, or the, the worst, worst nightmare, nightmare ever. ever. Okay, this is complicated. Okay, so first you go down one and then you switch to the You ready? Teacher. Okay, this is the tough one. No, hold it in front of you. Oh, wait, night, sorry. sorry. <laughs> it's the wind. <laughs> Okay, okay, class, class. Go, go ahead, ahead and, and take, take the next 20 minutes, minutes to work, work on your assignment. assignment. I'm, I'm going to mute and shut, shut off my camera. camera. Oops, I clicked and hit one too many. Hey, hey, Dad, are you muted? Yeah, son, they can't hear us. What do you want? Well, make me a sandwich. What's wrong with you? I just gave you Fruit Loops like five minutes ago. Uh, sorry, Dad's a little grumpy. This is my senior English class. They're so, so annoying. annoying. They're, They're a bunch, bunch of whiners. whiners. They say They're the stupidest, stupidest things. things. Hey, Mr. Oh, Noel, why, why would you assign you homework during a pandemic? pandemic? Why do you have, have to read this depressing, depressing book? book? Isn't, Isn't there, there enough, enough depression, depression in the world today? today? So, so, Mr. Mr. Noel, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I need, I need to, go to go to work. work. Can we get this class, like, wrapped up? Blah, 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 blah. Mr. Noel, you're not muted. You all get A's. Please, Please don't, don't tell, tell the principal. <laughs> Javier, Javier, thank, thank you. you. Show, him show him that smile, smile one more time. time. Atta boy, there you go. go. Ladies, Ladies, don't, don't look, look, he's taken, and, and I'm in no shape, shape to break, break up a fight. fight. Don't worry, I'll wait. wait. Seriously, Seriously, no problem. problem. I got I time. time. Then we went hybrid on you. Every other day, and nobody, nobody really ever figured out which Friday to go to. At least that's what you seniors claimed. Those first days were weird. We herded you like cattle through the hallway. No hugging, no handshakes, absolutely no relationships. And everyone sat silently in classrooms, looking at each other, wondering, who's infected? You all smelled like hand sanitizer. It was weird. However, we started here and we might get some sports and clubs and activities back with masks. It happened. 
Every, every bad, everybody, everybody back, back at school, school every day. day. Class, Class periods, periods that were over 100 minutes, minutes long. long. What? what? Who's running run this, this place, place anyways? anyways? That's, That's torture. torture. Sorry. Give, Give you a mask break, break though. though. By, this By this time, time you're back, back singing in masks, masks playing, playing instruments with the ends end sealed off, but not intense, and, and playing sports in masks. What? Track, track, bowling, bowling cheer, cheer, tennis, tennis wrestling, wrestling, softball, softball baseball. baseball. We, we did it all in mass. mass. Well, we, we kind of did it in mass. mass. Girls, Girls soccer, soccer got to take their mask off for some, some games. games. Guys, Guys soccer didn't. Baseball, baseball I, think I think they all wear masks, masks which, which I don't know why. Nobody's standing, standing next to each other anyways. Let's think. Swimming. They didn't have to swim with masks, thank God. That would have been horrible. But they had to wear them on the deck. Drama. Yeah, our drama. Yeah, they had to do a play with masks. Social distancing, you can't have, you know, that caused drama. We can't have that. But anyways, you did all these things with drama, with clubs, sports. Just think of the stories you're going to have for your grandparents. And I know what you're thinking as I tell you this. Seriously, who is running this place? I don't know. Guys should be fired. I know this year was weird, but I also know for many of you this year was hard. Mental health, health referrals, referrals for youth were at an all-time high. Self, self hurt cases reported local agencies spiked. We can, we can joke, joke much, much about this year, year but I know many of you carry scars. scars. During, During the, the pandemic, pandemic <clears throat> uh, when, when uh, things, things got, got tough, tough. Money, money got, got tight in homes, several, several students, students had to work to, to help, help out the family, out the family or support, support, themselves. support themselves. A lot, A lot of you babysat, babysat siblings, siblings so your parents could go to work. work. Loneliness, Loneliness was terrible for many of you. You know we have students that literally moved here during this year in the middle of a pandemic that knew no one. Some, Some of you, you dealt with anxiety, anxiety depression, depression, and spiraled into darkness. Our country's, Our country's divided, and it seems like negativity lurks around every corner. corner. And, during and during these troubled times, times you've dealt with so much adversity. adversity. The class, the class of 2021, 2021 has certainly been through it. it. However, it was in these dark times you showed your true colors. When you endured, when you kept fighting, when you kept caring, when you crawled out of those dark places, and you rallied. I don't, I don't think, think it's, it's possible, possible for a principal, principal to be, be more, more proud, proud of a graduating class. class. I, am I am very proud of you. Seniors, Seniors in the class of 2021, 2021 despite it all, here you sit, ready, ready for your diplomas. diplomas. You're, You're absolutely, absolutely amazing. amazing. With the class of 2021, please stand and be recognized at this time. Go ahead and take a moment get that little stretcher. I know you need it. All right, sit down. Seniors, you made it. I've said these words to you many times, and I mean it. You're unique, you have purpose, and you matter. Never forget those words. To the families of our 2021 graduates, I say thank you for trusting me with these incredible young people. It is an honor and privilege to serve you seniors and our, our community, community as, as your high, high school, school principal. principal. Thank, Thank you. you. It's really, really dusty, dusty up here. here. <laughs> Can, I Can I get our, our readers, readers up, up to the, to the microphones, microphones, please? please. It's, it's time. time. Thanks, Thanks, buddy. buddy. It is, it is my, my honor, honor to testify that, that all graduation, graduation requirements set forth, forth by the Eastmont East School District Board of Directors have been met. met. I present to you, School Board, the Eastmont High School class of 2021 for their diplomas.
our first graduate, Madeline Eaton. Catherine Loomis. Cadence Harden. Maya Mosier. Olivia Peña Navarrete. Macy Mosier. Olivia Ellington. Taylor Files. Olga Murillo Rodriguez. Libby Gallagher. Zoe Sunday. Gage Santa Cruz. Victoria Castillo. Connor Shinnam. Danielson. Rosemary Alejandra Ramos. Tyler Seidenstricker. Emma Knott. Jackson Murata. Lauren Marquis. Marquis. Carlin Kelly. Kelly. Rachel, Rachel Marquis. Marquis. Riley Hirsch. Hirsch. Olivia Knott. McKenna Schwab. Jaya Anatabula. Joe Murphy. Alyssa Merrill. Austin George Popoff. Sinead Morrison. Gabriella Diane Bartlett. Kendra Harmon. Gabriel Guzman. Aliyah Nunez Guzman. Maya McGuire. Pia Selyon. Kylie Hines. Mallory Farmer. Hannah Walls. Elijah Smiley. Nia, Nia Rose, Rose Van Lynn. Freddie, Freddie Gonzalez. Gonzalez. Yeah. Mason, Mason Georgia, Georgia Elise Templeton. Templeton. Hunter, Hunter Rule. Rule. Janelle, Janelle Wall. Wall. Kale, Kale Flanagan. 
right in. Sydney de la Cruz. Jack Goodmanson. Montserrat Garcia. Carter Bird. Annalise McKenna Cornish. Dylan Esparza. Alexis Baird. Blake Silliman. Tad Patrick. Chance Garcia. Liberty Renee Taylor. Jaden Brown. Caleb Clifton. Kylie Lineberry. Aaron Tuck. Jonathan, Jonathan Corona, Corona Santana. Santana. Austin, Austin Franklin. Franklin. Mackenzie Best. Best. Olivia, Olivia Fonville. Fonville. Christian Kirkland. Alexa, Alexa Burns. Burns. Damian, Damian Martinez. Martinez. Ashley, Ashley Jones. Jones. Leonardo, Leonardo Roldan. Caitlin Harrison. Giselle, Giselle Hernandez. Milagros Guadalupe Rodriguez Pamaz. Tanner Shamber Sanudio. Zachary Cornelou. Bryce Bun Martinez. Chris Allen. Hildarlo Olivas. Cynthia Montalvo Curiel. Jesus Taco Hurtado. Caitlin Baum. Isaac Barriga. Alexa Eckhart. Kaylee Borja Sanchez. Noah Eckhart. Christian Ramirez Morales. Peyton Vincent. Danielle Guerrero. Ariana Mancia. Mauro Antonio Ramirez. Autumn Akers. Alyssa Griggs. Jake Pearson. Gracie Gorman. Logan West. Nicole Brook. Zane Herkey. Kyla Games. 
Riley, Riley Kai, Kai, Big Bull Lewis. Lewis. Megan Shaw. Martin Gonzalez de la Cruz. Dalia Farias Negrete. Adrián Cabrera Ramírez. Madeline Nissen. Evan Vandersloos. Jennifer Perez Sanchez. Marco Antonio González Sosa. Stephanie Solorio. Jonathan Salgado. Cassandra Guadalupe Medina Ibarra. Juan Ruiz. Yao Farrell. Olivia Christensen. Ivy Lynn Christensen. Kate Suzellis. Haley Renee Moore. Lucas Fanny. Josephina Molitor. Carlos Rodriguez. Caitlin Ellard. Adrián Flexi Gallardo Tobar. Kaylee Felton. Michael Howe. Dylan Vargas. Aldo Moreno Banuelos. Martinez Raymond. Yulisa Mendoza Alcantar. Hunter Welch. Karime Zavala Alcantar. Eric Mendez. Jacqueline Morales Rincón. Juan Soria Valencia. Catherine Simmons. Roxana Elizabeth Ramirez Pacheco. Muriel Barnes. Martín Axel Corrales Vázquez. Brandon Harrington. Luis Manuel Pérez Ramírez. Destiny Ledbetter. Araceli Mendoza Ayala. Taya Raymond. Shunam Wu. Jesús Pascual Gómez Vega. Allison Ann Price. Trenton Holman. Brianne McKenzie Wilson. Megan Moyers. 
Alyssa Ferguson. Kian Daggett. Saida Solomé Olvera Rodriguez. Victor Manuel de la Cruz. Cani Jiménez Vázquez. Yero González. Carla Paulina Cortés Gómez. Brian Ernesto González Moreira. Luigi Valdivida. Julián Mendoza Valencia. Noah Massey. Isaac Kenneth Rademacher. Kaylee Hartman. Trevor Kreider. Arden Lemoy. Yair Arellano Ramirez. Melody Portillo Nava Eric Lopez Keldon Farrington Ashley, Ashley Cortez Barker Valentin Trujillo Hernandez Luis Enrique Ocampo Pérez. Alexis Giovanni Bravo. Rosemary Sánchez González. Victor Andre Andrade. Alexia Kiana Rodríguez. Edwin Delgado Zavala. Josué Díaz. Anthony Martínez Wilson. José Vargas. Marco Vargas. Matea Davis. Johan Martín Soriano Lemus. Anastasia Lindsay. Jonathan Gonzalez. Araya Truitt. Taylor Smith. Rachel Vadness. Corinne Elizabeth Wancho. César Julián Merino Romero. Jovan Singh. Bianca Anaí Maldonado. Tuesday Craft. Ciclali Saldana Castro. George Nelson. Micaela Escobedo. Carolyn Moore. Lennon Grable. Nolan Wilson. 
Blade Wood. Sean Eli Dye. Andre Garcia. Grady Dimke. Alan Grizzle. Isaac Antonio Rosales. José Antonio Alvarez. Andrew Johnson. Oscar Mago Guzman. Ryan Wynn. Drew Gavin. Yahaira Isabel Valdez. Jade Ochoa. Padilla Arceo. Elena Lynn Just. Luke Lamiak Tate. Brandy Eldridge. Kyle McBrady. Benjamin Dominguez. Caitlin Frank. Melanie Yareli Tobar Sanchez. Elena Atwood. Maite Rivas Bielmas. Frida Jocelyn Tapia Vargas. Mikhail Ivan. Oscar Ramirez. Lisbeth Lemus Luna. Elias Ángel Urquía. Adriana Luna. Yair Morales, Morales Perez. Perez. Divina, Divina Fish. Fish. Ricardo, Ricardo Ramirez, Ramirez Hernandez. Hernandez. Brooklyn, Brooklyn Johnson. Johnson. Blake, Blake Clay. Clay. Sydney, Sydney Michael, Michael Bauer. Bauer. Giovanni Vargas. Tegan Sanders. Diego Vasquez. Alondra Vargas Figueroa. Diego Zaldivar. Logan Van Housen. Burger. Tyler Fowler, Oscar Esteban Bureco, Christopher Crouch, Jesus Carrera, Cameron Drake, Isidro de Luna. Brendan Gillard. Jesse Sanchez Garcia. 
Colby Brugman. Edson Jared Alvarez. Alex Jezdal. Santos El Toro Fuentes. Connor Davis. Alexis Dreamville Mojica. Justin Kennedy. Angel Farfan Ramos. Alyssa Dory. Julian Angel Estrada. Megan Slayman. Brianna Espinosa Acevedo. Daniel Bremer. Azucena Alcantar Jiménez. Cohen Martin. Breaker Robinson. Seth Bruner. Dominic James Musgrove. Tyler Kazin. Julian Big Bird Torres. Max Fraser. Damian Vivanco. Sophia Stern. Taylor Darty Morun. Isabel Massey. Isabel Nolani Gill. Alina Tucker. Catlea Woodward. Corey Fraser. Chloe Leanne Adamson. Chase Boy. Melissa Anderson. Will Rounds. Haley Spears. Yesenia Rose Hoverson Bernal. Kendra Nicole Young. Jaden Tweedy. Harley Cole. Stara Stone. Riley Mackenzie Connor. Paige Fletcher. Dalen Thomas. Gabby Gonzalez. Nadia Bergen. Gabriela Cortez Sanchez. Janika Garoro Mendez. Cristo Garcia Alejandre. Erin Eileen Heston. Nayani Lillis. Ariana Moran. 
Amanda. Amanda. Daisy, Daisy Mora Canchola. Even Saul Malloy Dart. Dart. Alexis, Alexis Ulloa. Marisa Lovato. Cora Fry. Nadia Mariana Bernal. Riley Fisher. Aliyah Barrios. Jesse Coons. Giselle Keeney, Jada Bree Gladden Villanueva, Daniela Victoria Hernandez Ordonez, Paloma Casa, Braden Volkers, Julia Rocha. Mirella López, López Mercado. 
Mercado. Mike Laura. Yvonne Alejandra Rivera Berumen. Alia Monique Ibarra. Stephanie Elizabeth Flores Quintero. Carlos Brian Vasquez. Caitlin Taylor. Gabriela Ceja. Caleb Taylor. Cindy Lisette Vargas Serna. Eli Chávez Flores. Carla María Mor Morfin Rodríguez. Jesús Julián Nieto. Galilea Gardenia Bernal Ramírez. Elvis Ulises Gómez Chávez. Maribel Solorio. Iván Vicente Rocha. Lisbeth Ortiz. Oscar Zepeda. Jesse Coleman. Francisco Ceja. Archie Greiner. Jesús Mendoza. Jade Serrato. Cesar Perez. Alexia Funston. Malachi Blackwell. Isabella Ryber. Kyle Harvey. Shelby Tuggle. Jacqueline Corona. Evelyn Telles López. Rosemary Enríquez. Janet Baldovinos. Ángela Martínez Preciado. Thank <laughs> you. 
Congratulations, class of 2021. You absolutely rock. Thank you all for coming. Libby Gallagher, can you come to the stage? Any twins in the class of 2021, please come to the stage for the tossing of your caps. coverage of the commencement exercises of Eastmont High School's class of 2021. Tonight's broadcast was made possible by these fine sponsors. August Edge Real Estate, Biosports Physical Therapy, Caldwell Banker Cascade, Dr. David Parks, Leavenworth House Apartment Homes, Tan Republic, the Wenatchee School District, Apple Valley Honda, Schlang County PUD, Global Car Care, Laura Mounter Real Estate, Mini Blinds and More, One Way Construction, Sangster Motors, and Save Mart. This has been a special presentation of the NCW Life Channel, your local TV station. We now return you to our normal programming already in progress.